Consumer packaged good companies and retailers that don't refine their promotion strategies will face a very tough ride in 2013. Food price hikes that grow dollar sales but impede unit volume forces manufacturers to promote in order to move units. It's a costly way to retain or grow share. Trade spend is the number two consumer packaged goods expense after the cost of goods at about 20% of gross sales. Yet, while CPG amps up its spend, 62% of retailers take more margin on promotion than they did last year, and 46% move towards more of a clean floor policy, limiting available space for shippers and displays. That, according to new research by Acosta's AMG Strategic Advisors. The result? Higher prices for shoppers and less visual impact on the selling floor. The situation isn't pretty. That implied by the findings of a report, A Shift in the Lift, a study of key factors influencing trade promotion effectiveness. Many households continue to struggle financially. Two-thirds of shoppers tell Acosta that they're buying less and sticking to a budget over these past six months. 59% say that more than half of their shopping basket includes products on deal. More than half say that they're buying fewer unplanned items on impulse. And if prices aren't where shoppers want them to be, they'll often wait. 65% say they expect certain products to be on sale. And if they're not, they'll wait until they are on sale. Of 127 categories that they examined, 70% had a lower average promotional lift in 2012 than in 2011. Now, the report anticipates that 75% of retailers will either be EDLP or in a hybrid EDLP high-low price format within three years, supported by trade spend that's allocated to buy price down either every day or long term. Shopper marketing is expected to be 16% of the total marketing spend. The Lemper Report uploads right here three times a week with the information you need to stay ahead of the trends. For more, just visit thelemperreport.com.